What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lucas and in this video, we're gonna be going through how to automate the creation of snippets in VS Code using Python. So usually when I'm coding something and I need to remember a piece of code or something, I tend to have uh, my snippets organized in, the, in a folder that I access with this terminal, uh, with this terminal tool called Cheat. Let's say I wanted something for visualization, for example. I would come here to the terminal. I would type in cheat minus L. I would put in plot. And this would show me all the snippets I have available that involve some kind of plotting that you can see here on the left. And once I see the, uh, the script that I want, let, let's say it was plot fake data. So now I can say cheat plot data and now I have access to that to that snippet of code that I can copy and put on my and put on and, and put inside my script whatever that script is and that's okay but that's not very effective nor very fast right the ideal thing is to have the snippets of code inside VS code so that you know when you're plotting here we can say something like uh, uh, how to something and you can see here since I already did this uh, I can access the snippets of code here you see like how to do a t-test for example and then I click and then I have access to the snippet this is the ideal situation the problem is that the process of creating snippets in VS code is a bit cumbersome so I would have to come here I would have to say new snippet so I would have to come here and then I would say configure user snippets and then I would say new global snippets file. Let's say I wanted a snippet of, for all programming languages or yes, I want to have access from anywhere. And then I would come here and I would say, let's say test snippet. Uh, that's never exists. So let's say test snippet two. And then I would have to deal with this file, right? And here the basic layout for a snippet in VS Code is you have a title to your snippet and then you have the scope, which is the programming language under which that snippet can be called. And then the prefix that you're gonna use to call that snippet. And then the body of the snippet, which will be a list where each element of that list is a line of code. And then a description of what that snippet is doing. And that's your snippet in a, you know, uh, that's your snippet in a nutshell. Now, the issue with this is creating this by hand is annoying, right? And honestly, I don't know if there are extensions that automate the process of creating snippets. There might be, but just for the purpose of this video, let's have some fun and write a Python automation to create this file automatically from my clipboard, all right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a file called uh, create snippet from clipboard. Okay, so now that we're here, now what are going to be the steps to create a snippet from clipboard? Well, first thing is we're going to specify, uh, we're going to specify a variable uh, with the path for your snippets folder right then after that so that's uh that's number one and then we're gonna be writing uh so we're gonna write the code to get the contents of your clipboard then finally we're gonna write the code to save the content in a pre-specified snippets file which will be determined and the name of this file will be determined when we are calling the script. We're calling a script. And um, it's important that, you know, the, the format, the format of, it's important that the format of the snippet file is correct. So with the right format. So finally, we will be uh, then we're going to write the code to save the final Python script. And then 
After that, we're going to write an alias to call that script from anywhere in the terminal. Okay. So these are going to be the steps to, to do this. So first things first, let's specify a variable with the path of your snippets. Well. So global snippets folder equal. Now my, uh, my snippets folder is inside uh, it's inside the docconfig folder of uh, VS Code, which I, which for me is this, uh, and you will have to adapt it to your use case. So this is mine. Now write a code to get the content of your clipboard. So here we're going to import clipboard. So after we import clipboard, we're going to get the content from the clipboard. So we're going to say content equal clipboard.paste. Okay, so now we're gonna test this. We're gonna test this line by printing the content of the clipboard. So let's say the content is this. Now I can now I can test it. I can say Python create. And there you go. We get the content of my clipboard. Perfect. Now the next step will be to write the code to save the content in a pre-specified snippet file. All right. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is get this, the name of the snippet. So we're going to ask the user for the name. We're going to say snippet name equals something, right? And then we're going to define the path where we're going to save the snippets file. So we're going to say snippet dest path equal global snippets folder plus the snippets name. Nope. Uh, plus uh, dot code snippets, which is the extension that we have to save these snippets so that VS Code can recognize it and uh, show it to us inside the inside the text editor. So let's move this. Let's move this thing here. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open the um, we're going to open the file path where we want to save the where we want to save the snippet and you know vs code is already trying to facilitate my life but it's doing everything wrong so we're gonna put a w plus so that we know that we can uh we'll write a file that doesn't exist and then what we're gonna do now is so we're gonna so with we're gonna open up this uh we're gonna create this file and we're gonna say s snippet file and then we're going to say snippet file dot write. And now we have, have to attend, attend to the format that VS Code accepts for snippets. So, so we're going to start things off by writing brackets. And then this, if you don't remember the format, what we're going to do, I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a snippet in my write so that you remember how it looks. So let's put that there. Perfect, it's right there. And now, well, so now I'm writing. Uh, so now I'm writing. I'm writing this this guy right here. Perfect. And now we're gonna write. Uh, and now we're gonna write the snippet's name because it's gonna be the title of our snippet. So let's come here and we're going to say F and then we're going to say this. And, and now we're going to say snippet, snippets, snippets name, which snippets name should be here. Yep. Perfect. Snippets name. And then Shoot, one, two, yeah. And now like this and like this and like this. And this should be enough. Yes. Why isn't it? Because two snippets name. Total. Yeah, that's all good. F because the behind the F there's a thing. All right. 
So here we go. So this is creating uh, this is creating this part for me. This part of the snippet file. And now we're going to say snippet file the right. And we're going to um, uh, open up brackets and skip a line. So we're going to do huh, and then in and then in. Yeah, perfect. And now we're going to do snippet file. Now, now we're going to do snippet file dot. Now we're going to do snippet file dot right. And what we're going to do is we're going to give some space. So let's give it four white spaces. And now we're going to write scope. All right, we're going to write scope like this and then we're going to write Python because my snippets will be in Python. And I'm going to skip a line and that is it. And it's like this. Perfect. So here I'm writing this part. In this case, I'm not writing for JavaScript nor TypeScript. I'm writing for Python. So now snippet file, I'll write. And we're going to do the same for prefix. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. You have Copilot already saw it. And the prefix for the um, the prefix that we're going to use to to call this uh, the snippet is going to be the actual name of the uh, of the snippet that we that we gave. So we're just going to come here. We're going to say. Um, we're just going to come here. We're going to give the name like this. So we're going to do this and then we're going to say snippets name. There you go. So snippets name plus we're going to skip a line. So now we're going to do like this. There we go. So now we're writing this part for the prefix. And in this case, it's going to be the name of the snippet. I could get like the beginning of the name. Maybe that would be a better idea, but that can be confusing for some. So let's just call it like this. And here I'm skipping a line, which is, which is great. Prefix this boom. Now it looks a little bit better. Now snippet file dot write. Now again, and this time GitHub Copilot got the stuff that we needed. For the content, yeah, for the content, we're going to have to do something a bit more fancy. So we're going to start with this and yes, with the bracket for the list. And now here we're going to do a little bit of magic. We're going to say, well, first, I'm going to try to write it like this clipboard uh, content. Oh, actually, I call it content. So fine. Move for lining content dot split lines. And I'm going to split it on the skipping of a line. And then I'm going to write plus line in this, right? Perfect. So then if this doesn't help, we're going to write an exception for a type of error that can that can happen, which is type error. Honestly, I'm not sure why is it that um, when I try to call it like this, I get like a weird error for some files. So I decided to go with this approach. Uh, this is not ideal, but like for scripting, this is fine. So now I'm going to write a second version that uses dot split. Uh, and I would love to hear in the comments if someone knows how I can fix this. Someone knows how I can fix this little hack that I have to do here so that I can get the, the snippet actually properly formatted. One of the issues that I'm having with this approach is that the final output is not perfectly formatted. But right now I don't know how to how to fix that. So I'm doing like this. So if I get an error, 
for this call, I will call it like this, and this should solve our issues. And then finally, we're gonna write, uh, we're gonna close on, we're gonna close the bracket for the body. So I'm doing this part, then I'm each line is gonna be fed like this to this list of the body, and then I close the brackets. I close the brackets and I put a little comma there. And now I can say snippetfile.write description, which is this guy right here. And description is just going to be the snippet's name. So I'm just going to say um, yeah, I'm just going to say plus snippet's name plus uh yeah like this there you go and now snippet file got right uh so but yeah and now we just close we just close this bracket and we skip a line and then we repeat it and there we go this is what we need this is all we need and now what we're going to do is we're going to save the script and inside of our computer since i already have this set up i don't have to change it but you should save this in whatever folder you want inside your computer uh, what we can do with this now is do a little test where we can come here and we can say something like print hello world and then we can copy that we can come here call our script create snip and we can say hello world as our snippet name and now let's see if we have access to this snippet here so uh, it's important to know that I did a little correction in here in the body because it was saving the snippet wrong. So I just removed, uh, I just removed this thing, uh, this little quote that was here, and the double quotes that was here. Okay, so now we can copy this. So when when I save it like this, he doesn't recognize. He treats the he treats the double quotes as something to ignore. So I have to replace. So every time I put a line, I go dot replace, uh, uh, dot replace, sorry, uh, dot replace, yeah, dot replace this. Nope, can't do that. Dot replace. Um, yeah, dot replace this with. Yeah, what's I'm gonna be replacing double quotes with single quotes, and I'm gonna do that all over. Now let's see if this works. We can now say this, copy, and we can run our script. We can say hello world. And if, if I come, come here and say hello world, it prints, prints hello world. Great, so it works. So as you can see, guys, now I can do whatever. I can copy any piece of code inside VS Code. And if I just run this command, it will save uh, a snippet file for me automatically. So now all that is left to do is save an alias to call the script from anywhere in the terminal. So I have this alias called snippet from clipboard that I, that I use and, and that I can just run this and it will save it for me. So if you don't know how to do that, what you do is uh let's uh do an example with uh an alias file so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say uh vim aliases See here i have a bunch of aliases that i use for all sorts of stuff and then 
I, we can come here and we can say alias. Uh, let's uh, do an example like test save snippet equal to Python and then the path to this script. So I'm going to get this path just so that you guys can see. So I can come here and I can say control V. Okay, that's great. So now uh, I can get out of there and I can just call source on aliases so that the terminal is updated. Perfect. Now uh, let's do another example. Let's do for this entire file. So let's say I wanted to save this. I can come here and I can save, save it, save snippet save now i forgot the name okay that's save snippet yeah it's not so now i can come here and say test save snippet perfect it works and i can say this is a test save snippet uh, file perfect and now if i come to vs code and i say test Save. There you go. We have access to the file. Now, format is not going to be exactly incredible, but it works. And I guess that that is it for today. All right. So that's how you automate the process of creating snippets in for VS Code with Python. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time. Cheers.